Hey, what's up, people? Ryman. So, today was the first day of school. And, uh, well, I'm teaching at the same school. Again. So, really, it's like, not really anything new. But, uh, it's new for me because, uh, I never taught at the same school twice. Usually, I see them for one year and then I never see them again for the rest of my life. So, I built up a kind of resistance, like, you know. I'm not going to get too close because I'm never going to see you again. But this year, I get to see him twice, and now it's all like, now I'm going to be the super teacher. Well, I'm going to do a little bit more. Um, what's crazy is the kids didn't even know I'm coming back. So I'm walking through the hallway, and they're like, Ma, Mashu, Ma, Mashuda, Ma. Like, no one told you? Could you imagine if your uncle, well, I'm not your uncle, but I'm like an uncle. But could you imagine someone is coming back and the people who are kind of in charge don't let you know? But yeah. That's Japan. Welcome to Japan. Um, also, an interesting thing. Um, usually, I'm the one who leaves the school. And all the other teachers stay. But this year, I came back to the school again. And all the teachers that... My friends. They all left. <laughs> it kind of sucks. You know. But, uh, that's... Uh, teachers rotate, but I was expect Like, all of my... It's like they... Alright, we're going to take uh, Matthew back. But all his friendly teachers, we're going to... Send them off to other schools. Anyway, that's life. All right. So uh, when I came back to school today, they apparently they made me this. And uh, yeah, I don't know. It just has kind of little letters and stuff from all the third grades. I I felt a tear coming out of my eye for about like a second, and then I was like, um, <laughs> yeah. Some of them are really a heart touch feeling. They're like, you know, I didn't like English, but then you made it fun. Some said I dressed pretty cool. And then a lot of kids were drawing my logo because I was giving out stickers all year. And they were drawing the logo and saying thank you for the stickers. And yeah, so that's cool. Yeah, so, um, so now I'm really busy, man. I got my school and then I got my MBA school and I picked up two part-time jobs. So now it's like got my weekend I just got one for Tuesday so uh, this video is gonna be really quick well who knows it might be long but uh, what I wanted to tell you is about going to work today All right. so I woke up at five o'clock like I told you I was gonna wake up early and uh, it was really bright out I was I was I told you I didn't want to get up early because it'd be all dark but it was really bright like really bright it was so bright that I woke up and then my girlfriend's like getting up and then she looked at the time and it was like five o'clock she's like what i'm going back to bed so she went back to bed so i'm like yeah 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 i can go make this video walking around but i still got to get on a train at six and yeah so anyway so i made myself some eggs and bacon drank some orange juice you said why are you telling me about what you ate and drank because it's it, it, it's part of the story man so then i uh, i go i get on a train and i'm reading this book about marketing this book is fascinating, but if you want to hear about this book, check out my other channel. I'm going to go all into it about the marketing on my music channel. So, I'm reading the book. I'm feeling good. Because, you know, I've been on vacation. Well, kind of vacation. Well, not really any vacation. But I, I, I haven't... Well, I was getting up early. Well, I've been relaxed mode, and I have to work mode, you know. Anyway, so I'm on the train. I'm just, like, getting ready to go and... You know, I get halfway through, and all of a sudden... Like, I was early, man. I was early. I was on time. I was beyond time, man. And all of a sudden, my stomach, my stomach, it, it started talking to me. It started doing its own dance. It started, it started giving me some problems, man. And uh, I didn't like that. I didn't like it at all. And I was stuck because, you know, I'm early so I could take my good old time, but I got the runs, if you know what I mean. Actually, I think I got food poison. I think I poisoned myself with the eggs, bacon, and orange juice. I don't know, man. It was, it was just one of those things like, oh my gosh, I got to go to the bathroom. But I'm on a train. So I'm all like, I can't read my book anymore. And I'm just all like thinking, where can I go to the bathroom? Because I'll, I'll tell you, I've been in Japan for seven years. I have never used the bathrooms at the stations unless they are the ones that have the heated seats. Like, that's like the luxury of bathrooms, man. That's like the Ritz-Carlton of bathrooms. So, I said Carlton. <laughs> yeah, 
Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Anyway, so those are like the real exclusive bathrooms. You put your butt down on it and it's warm. And then it has all these buttons and all these lights and flashings like a disco up in there. So that's the only bathrooms that I use. And I refuse to use those little holes in the ground. People, some people post videos up. It's like, why would I ever use that when you have this? So I'm thinking, where can I find that bathroom? Usually they're in um, the department stores up on the, the seventh floor. So as I said, I've been here for seven years. I have never used one of those because you just walk an extra mile, not mile, extra foot or so, and then you can go upstairs on the top floor. And there's your nice bathroom. So I'm thinking, where can I find this bathroom? Where can I find this bathroom? But maybe I have to break the rule today. But I don't want to break the rule today because I don't want to break the rule ever. So then I um. I, I, I just couldn't, I had to go, so I, I get off, I, I'm still inside the station, I, I switch over, and I saw the bathroom and the lights came on, I was all like, because ah! it was like a, it was the handicapped bathroom, but it was real shiny, sometimes handicapped bathrooms are just porcelain bowls, you know, there's nothing spectacular, but this one was the heated seats and the lights and all that, so I was like, yeah, and then I did my business, and then uh, I made it to work. One time, actually, I was early. I was, I'm supposed to be there at like 8.40. I got there at 7.45. You say, why did you come so early? Because uh, that's what a rhyming guy does. Anyway, class was cool. Um, kids were cool. The first years, they don't know me, you know? They, so third years left. First years are coming. So I'm like, good morning. And they're all like, ah. But uh, we have class next week, so they'll get introduced to the... Rhyming guys. All right, and um, um, well, that's about it. Oh yeah, nah, nah, nah. Actually, okay, I didn't really think this through. I was thinking about it before I made the video, but I'll say. It. All right, so tomorrow is my birthday. I will be uh. <laughs> so um, I was thinking, what can I do? I was telling my girlfriend, you know, I'm just happy to be alive and happy to have these opportunities that I have. You know, I got accepted into school and I, I, I'm teaching in Japan. I got the same school. Like, I, I got a lot of good things. Every day is a birthday for me. Every day is a good day. Let's just know that. So, I was thinking, what can I do for the people who watch me? So, now, I, I, I don't know. Oh, I could find it. Uh, I got two shirts Two small shirts. I love rhyming. They're just sitting around, not doing anything. And uh, I need a reason to give them away. I, so if your birthday is... Now, this is going to be tricky. because I'm going to need proof. I mean, that's not even a good contest. Now, how about we do this? You give me a good contest to give to you guys, and then I'll pick. Because contests are hard, man. You know, my girlfriend, she did one. Remember when she did her contest? And I told her, you better make it, you better figure out how to do this because you're going to be stuck thinking, who, who? She didn't listen to me. The next thing you know, she's like, who, how can I decide? Like, you should have picked a better contest. So, before I even get myself in that situation. Um, so, for my birthday, my gift to you guys is to give away two shirts. I'll send them out. And, um, and, uh, but I need you to help me pick a good contest. Yeah. So, and pick a good one. Don't have me like saying something like uh, whoever writes the longest story because I don't want to read a long story. <laughs> Those stories are long, man. I, I do enjoy reading, but I, I, I just don't want to read many long stories. You know what I'm saying? Alright, so I'm going to make another video on my other channel. It's going to be about marketing, so check that out if you're interested in what I've been learning. It's crazy because, you know, I have what I'm learning in school and then my, you know, usually I read books anyway. And they're all just kind of gelling together. And it's making my, my focus so uh, I'm getting a new clarity. In fact, it's so clear, I want to write a paper for no reason. Like, I, I don't think you guys want to read my paper about what I'm going to write about. It's kind of academic. But it's not, it's more hip-hop, you know, my view on hip-hop and whatever music. But it's, it, it's too, you know, nobody who does hip-hop really wants to read that either. So it's really, I'm writing it for myself. Cause I just want to write it. 
is going to be interested. But uh, I, I'm going to say more on another channel. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a good day. And if you don't see me for a while, it's because I'm studying and I'm going to work and I'm doing all this other stuff. But I'll try to push my girlfriend to make videos on my behalf on her channel. So make sure you go check out her, can her channel. All right, peace. Ryman. Cheers.